Have you ever wondered how to get sharp corners on your fonts and shapes? Welcome to 2 Minute Tuesdays. If you're like me getting started, you only know of one way to get an outline on something, whether it's a shape or a text file, and that's by going to layer styles and adding a stroke. There's only one issue though. When you get to the corners, it is a round edge. Not a lot of people want that. They kind of want that sharp corner to match the corner there. You can do like what I used to do in trying to fake it by duplicating some parts of the text and making that corner sharp. What if I told you there was an easy way to do it? This is so easy, it's literally just a few steps. As you go in Photoshop, you find your cool font, which I have right here. Just a basic font, but it shows the example. It's got the sharp corners and everything there. It's pretty simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on the font and you're gonna actually convert it to shape. As you see now, it has all the points there and you can adjust it all you want, but I just wanna show you this part here. You're gonna click on the pen tool and then you'll see this kind of selection up here where it says fill and stroke. You're gonna click where it says one pixel or whatever you have on there and you're gonna pick the size you want. Let's, let's just pick, um, I'll even type it, let's go 15 there. As you can see there, it's actually, looking at it, you can see it's got that sharp corner. It's that simple. When I found this out, I just, I was, my mind was blown there. You can adjust it too by putting it on the outside if you want, or having it on the inside or in the middle. You can do the same thing with shapes as well. We already have the shapes, and you don't need to convert it. Just go back to the pen tool, pick what you want, the colors you want as well. And as you can see, it's a sharp corner. It is that simple. You can use this in many applications there. Say you want to put a, like a sharp border around an image. You can just put the shape in there, select the stroke you want, set it on the inside of it there, take the fill, just negative it out. Just by clicking that box with the red slash in there and you have just the border. When I found this out, it was such a game changer. I hope you guys can use this and it's a game changer too. Well, I hope you enjoyed this two minute Tuesday inspired by Peter McKinnon. If you like what you saw, like the video, subscribe to the channel and comment down below if you want to see more of these two minute Tuesdays.